Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are going to discuss today a complex number and this is lecture number 8. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 7 before watching this part 8. In this lecture, we are going to learn about the square root of a complex number. A square uh, root of complex number and uh, some extended portion of that, that uh, um, complex quadratic equation. So, that will be uh, the question which is given here. First, I am going to discuss some questions. Thereafter, we will discuss cube roots of unity as well. So, the first thing that I am going to discuss exercise 2. That is from exercise 2. Exercise 2. From supplementary exercise, this is and the question is given like solve the following quadratic equation the following quadratic equation quadratic equation equations this is a complex quadratic equation and we have to solve them um, by using the fact that uh, the first question which is given is iota x square minus x plus 12 iota is equal to 0. Complex quadratic equation is there and we have to solve it. So, simple as usual what we are doing earlier, we will do the same thing here. Comparing with uh, quadratic equation x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. We have a is equal to iota here, b is coefficient of x that is minus 1 and c is equal to 12 iota. So, we will write equation using quadratic formula minus b plus minus root under b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a and that will be minus of minus 1 that is plus 1 plus minus under root b square minus 1 whole square is 1 minus 4a and c is 12 iota divided by 2 into iota. So, what will come? That will be 1 plus minus, this will be 48 iota square and iota square is minus 1. So, that will be 1 plus 48 that is 49 and a square root of 49 is 7 upon 2 iota. So, that is uh, 1 plus 7, 8 upon 2 iota or minus 6 upon 2 iota that is can be written as 4 upon iota and uh, minus 3 upon iota. Again, if you multiply by iota in numerator and denominator, then that will be uh, minus 4 because uh, iota. Iota square is minus 1, so minus 4 iota and if you multiply by iota, it will be iota square that is minus 1, so 3 iota. These are the two answers of this question. So, minus 4 iota and 3 iota are the two solution of this complex quadratic equation. Now, let us see the question number second. And in second question, it is given that x square minus 3 root 2 minus 2 iota into x minus under root 2 iota is equal to 0. Again, if you compare with the quadratic equation x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, you will get uh, a is equal to 1 here, b is equal to minus 3 root 2 minus 2 iota because coefficient of x and c is nothing else but under root 2 iota. So, now x is equal to minus b that is 3 root 2 minus 2 iota plus minus under root b square minus 4 ac. So, b square is 3 root 2 minus 2 iota whole square minus 4a and c is minus 4 to iota whole divided by 2 into 1. So, further we can write it like 3 root 2 minus 2 iota plus minus inside the square root it will be 3 square 9 to j 18 and uh, plus 4 iota square which is minus 4 and uh, 3 to j 6 6 to the 12 minus 12 root 2 iota and that will be minus minus plus 4 root 2 iota 
4 root 2 iota divided by it. So we can write it again. This is 3 root 2 minus 2 iota plus minus 18 minus 4 is 14. So that will be 14 minus 12 root 2 iota plus 4 root 2 iota is minus 8 root 2 iota and divided by 2. So we can take a uh, we will have to find now uh, 14 minus 8 root 2 iota square root of 14 minus 8 root 2 iota let me write the square root of 14 minus 8 root 2 iota we have to calculate this is equal to x minus iota y same so on squaring 4 8 root 2 iota is equal to x square minus iota square plus 2xy iota and therefore x square minus y square is equal to 14 and 2xy is equal to 8 root 2. So this is third and this one is second. Now uh, we have already discussed this x square plus y square is equal to x square minus y square whole square plus 2xy whole square. If you will put all these values, you will have 14 square minus 8 root 2 whole square that will be 196 plus 128. 68 square is 64 and 128. So that will be 8 plus 6 is 14. Carry 1, 9 to 11, 1, 12, 2 and 1, 1, 2, 3. So a square root of 324 is nothing else but 18. 18. So x square plus y square is equal to 18 and x square minus y square is equal to 14. If you sum up these two, 2x two square is equal to 4 and x square is equal to 2. x square is equal to 2. So x is equal to plus minus root 2. If you put the value of x square uh, here, that is uh, This is, sorry, this is an addition. Now. So 8 plus 4 is 12, 32. x square is 16, x is equal to plus minus 4. If I will put x square 16 here, in that case 16 plus 2, uh, y square is equal to 18. So y square is equal to 2 and y is equal to plus minus root 2. So y becomes plus minus root 2 and uh, x is what? X is plus minus 4. And therefore, a square root of 14 minus 8 root 2 iota, a square root of 14 minus 8 root 2 iota is equal to plus minus 4 into 4 and uh, y is what minus root 2 iota so from first now from first we have x is equal to what was the value value was uh, 3 root 2 minus 2 iota 3 root 2 minus 2 iota 3 root 2 minus 2 iota plus minus this one 4 minus root 2 iota root 2 iota divided by 2 so that will come up like uh, there are two values or uh, one is say 1 is 3 root 2 minus 2 iota plus 4 minus root 2 iota divided by 2 while other value is 3 root 2 minus 2 iota minus 4 plus root 2 iota divided by 2. So in that case that would be 4 plus 3 root 2 and minus 2 plus root 2 divided by 2 and another one is 3 root 2 minus 4 upon 2 this is the real part and plus root 2 minus 2 iota of 2 these are the two values which we can obtain from this equation so 
these are the two values which we can obtain. So solution is there are two complex solutions of the quadratic equation, and these are solution. And these are this is a solution, right? This is the solution. Okay. Now uh, let us see the question number three, and that is three in Roman. The third question and what is that third question is x square minus root 2 plus iota into x plus root 2 iota is equal to 0 root 2 iota is equal to 0 this is the third question so we will solve it like uh, using this here a is what a is 1 b is equal to minus of root 2 plus iota and c is uh, root under 2 iota. So x can be written as minus b that is root 2 plus iota plus minus under root b square that is the root 2 plus iota whole square. This negative square will be positive so that is why I am not writing this into a into c is root 2 iota whole divided by 2a that is 1. Now that will be uh, root 2 plus iota plus minus and a square root of this will be 2 minus 1 that is 1 plus 2 root 2 iota and minus 4 root 2 iota whole divided by so again that can be written as root 2 plus iota plus minus into under root of 1 minus 2 root 2 iota. So divided by 2 that will be root 2 plus iota and root 2 plus iota square is uh, root 2 minus uh, root 2 my 1 plus 2 root 2 iota so 1 minus 2 root 2 iota will be equal to what root 2 minus iota whole square so that will be because it is a square so it will come out root out out of the root and then that will be here x is equal to root 2 plus iota plus root 2 minus iota by 2 and another value will be root 2 plus iota minus root 2 plus iota by 2. So in that case there will be 2 value iota iota cancels and 2 root 2 by 2, 2 root 2 by 2, 2 2 cancel so that will be root 2 and this value will be root 2 root 2 cancel that is 2 iota by 2 so 2 2 cancel that is iota. So there are 2 roots and 2 solutions of x is root 2 and iota these are the solutions. So I hope you got it. That's simply what I have written here that root 2 plus iota whole square is 1 plus 2 root 2 iota. So 1 minus 2 root 2 iota can be written as root 2 minus iota whole square. So because it is root 2 minus iota whole square, so out of the square root it will be root 2 minus iota. So directly we had calculated this. Now for question number 4. Question number 4. There is question number 4 and that is 2x square minus 3 plus 7 iota into x plus 9 iota minus 3 is equal to 0. Clearly, here a is equal to 2, b is equal to minus 3 plus 7 iota and uh, c is equal to 9 iota minus 3. So, x is equal to minus b plus minus root under d by 2a and b is what? That is 3 plus 7 iota plus minus b square, b square is 3 plus 7 iota whole square minus 4a, a is 2 and c is 9 iota minus 3 like this divided by 2 into 2. So, it will be coming like 
थ्री प्लस सेवन आयोटा प्लस माइनस दैट विल बी थ्री स्क्वायर इज नाइन सेवन स्क्वायर फोर्टी नाइन एंड सेवन थ्री जै ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी वन टू जै फोर्टी टू आयोटा माइनस फोर टू जै एट एट नाइन जै सेवेंटी टू आयोटा एंड एट थ्री जै ट्वेंटी फोर सो दैट विल बी ट्वेंटी फोर होल डिवाइडेड बाई फोर नाउ वी कैन राइट इट फर्दर लाइक थ्री प्लस माइनस सेवन आयोटा प्लस माइनस थ्री प्लस सेवन आयोटा नॉट माइनस देर इज नो नीड टू चेंज थ्री प्लस सेवन आयोटा प्लस माइनस इट विल कम लाइक माइनस फोर्टी माइनस फोर्टी एंड प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर इज माइनस सिक्सटीन माइनस थर्टी आयोटा स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ दिस डिवाइडेड बाई फोर सो we can write now this equation one and we have to calculate the square root of minus 16 minus 30 iota so further we can write a square root of let a square root of minus 16 minus 30 iota is equal to x minus iota y and on squaring this will be Minus 16 minus 30 iota is equal to x square minus y square minus 2x y iota. So clearly, x square minus y square is minus 16, and 2x y is equal to 30. This is a second, and this is third. You can see. So again, using the same formula. That x square plus y square is equal to under root of x square minus y square whole square plus 2xy whole square. So we can write it minus 16 whole square plus 30 square. Minus 16 whole square is 256 and plus 900. That is 1156, which is the square root of the square root of 1156 is 34. So clearly, x square plus y square is thirty-four, and x square minus y square is minus sixteen. X square minus y square is minus sixteen. So using this two, two x square is equal to fourteen minus eighteen, eighteen, and x square is equal to nine. So x is equal to plus minus three. Putting this value. Uh, we will have 18 plus y square is equal to 34, and uh, so x square is 9. So 9 plus y square is 9 plus y square is 34. So y square is equal to 25, and y is equal to plus minus 5. So in that way, uh, square root of minus 16 minus 30. Is a square root of therefore a square root of minus sixteen minus thirty is plus minus x that is three and minus y is five five. Using this in one, now putting this value in one from first, what was that x is equal to? Let us see what was the first. Um, here three plus seven iota. And plus minus that was three plus seven iota three plus seven iota plus minus three minus five iota divided by four so that will be there will be two values three plus seven iota plus three minus five iota by four and another one is three plus seven iota. Minus three plus five pi out. I think with this negative sign that will be positive divided by four. I hope you got it. Mm. So now there are two values which will come up. That is three plus three is six plus two iota by four, and that will be three minus three cancel. And now seven iota plus five pi out is twelve iota by four. So if I take two common, that will be three by two plus one by two iota, and that will be three iota. So these are the two values which will coming out from.
from this equation. Now the next question is, there is another question and that one fifth question is, fifth question is x square minus 3 root 2 minus 2 iota into x plus 6 root 2 iota is equal to 0. This one is also a question and we are going to solve it. So here a is equal to 1, b is again minus of 3 root 2 minus 2 iota that is coefficient of and c is 6 root 2 iota. So x can be calculated as here minus b. So due to this negative sign it will be positive and uh, minus 2 iota plus minus b square that is 3 root 2 minus 2 iota whole square minus 4a is 1 and c is 6 root 2 iota whole divided by 2 into 1. Now uh, that will come up like uh, 3 root 2 minus 2 iota plus minus under root 3 root 2 whole square 9 to j 18, 18 plus 4 iota square which will be minus 4 and 3 to j 6 my into 2 12 root 2 iota minus 24 root 2 iota and whole divided by 2. I hope you got it. So that will come like 3 root 2 minus 2 iota plus minus 18 minus 4 is 14 14 and this is minus 36 root 2 iota whole divided by 2 this is equation 1 now again we have to go through this square root of 14 minus now we will write here let a square root of 14 minus 36 root 2 iota is equal to x plus iota y x minus because imaginary part is negative. So I am taking x minus. Second equation and we uh, will write here as squaring again the same process will be there. It will, it will be 14 minus 36 root 2 iota is equal to x square minus y square minus 2xy iota. On uh, equating, we have equating we have uh, x square minus y square is equal to 14. This is third equation, and 2xy is equal to 36 root 2. This is fourth equation. I hope you got it. Now the next uh, x square plus y square is equal. To, we have to calculate x square plus y square is equal to under root x square minus y square whole square plus 2xy whole square. So we will write here this is 14 square plus 36 root 2 whole square. So it will be 196 and 36 square is 1296 multiply by 2 that is 2592 and the total sum will be 6 plus 2 is 8, 9, 9, 18, 8 and 5 plus 1, 6 and 1, 7 and 2, this is 2, 2, 7, 8, 8, the square root of that will be that looks something different so but it will be whatever come that is 2 root 697 and uh, it seems that there must be some here uh, error in that but uh, whatever things is given accordingly we can write it so x square minus y square is what given that is 14 so we can use this by adding these two you will have 2x square that is 2 14 plus 2 root 697 plus 14 so x square is equal to 7 plus under root 697 and x is equal to a square root of this 
plus minus square root of 7 plus 697 under root this will come that is something somewhere the data is incorrect is given but the method is correct and similarly if you put the value of y you will get the value of y it must be somewhere uh, such a way that the square root of this can be obtained and data must be definitely there will be like uh, this but somewhere data is incorrect either i have copied or it is given in the question wherever i have taken the question this was the things which is written there and uh, using that i got this there is no mistake anywhere i have checked it but still uh, this is 2788 which should come as perfect square right now so just for sake of convenience i am taking this 676 696 and 696 you can take it uh, then in that case if i'll take it 696 then it will be 26 into 252 just for sake of convenience i am doing this although the answer will come like this as per the given data as per given data this will come okay okay uh, why should i uh, do this whatever things is given we write it and accordingly if we put the value of this in y y square is equal to x square minus 14 so that will be 7 plus um, 6 under root 7 under root 697 minus 14 so that will be under root 697 minus 14 and using this y is equal to plus minus under root this so putting the value in one you will get the answer accordingly so put putting the value of, of x and y and in under root 14 minus 36 root 2 iota and uh, later in one later in one you will get the solution okay so now the topic which i would like to discuss is cube root of unity uh, cube root of unity cube roots of unity although this is not a part of in this syllabus but uh, still it is useful so i am discussing this cube root of 1 is equal to x this employee uh, 1 to the power 1 by 3 is equal to x and so we can say 1 is equal to x cube we can write it x cube minus 1 is equal to 0 and further we can write it um, x cube x minus 1 x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 so either x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 in that case x is equal to 1 or x is equal to minus 1 plus minus root under 3 iota by 2 b square minus 4 is equal have applied so there will be three roots so q roots of unity are q roots of unity are one that is the real root and one plus root three iota by two that is one imaginary root and the second imaginary root is one minus one by root three iota so these are uh, q roots of unity they are denoted by they are denoted as denoted as 1 omega and omega square why it is so because uh, one of them is omega then the square of the this will be another one since uh, one of the imaginary roots properties is one of the imaginary roots the imaginary roots one of the imaginary roots is a square of other one of the imaginary roots imaginary roots is a square of other a square of other right now and uh, if i can take it say omega is equal to minus one plus root three by two 
then if I write omega square, then that would be a 1 plus 3 iota square minus 2 root 3 iota and divided by 2 square is 4. And if we calculate it further, then what will happen? You will see this 1 minus 3 minus 2 root 3 iota by 4 and that will be minus 2 minus 2 root 3 iota by 4 and uh, therefore omega square will come up if I take 2 and cancel them then that will be minus 1 minus root 3 iota by 2. So if positive 1 is taken as omega then negative 1 will come as omega square. Similarly if you uh, take uh, negative 1 as omega then positive 1 will be as omega square. That is why it is said one of the imagined roots is the square of other. Now the second characteristics which you need to remember is sum of cube roots of unity is 0. Cube roots of unity is 0. Is zero. That is 1 plus omega plus omega square is equal to 0. And we can prove it omega is if I will take positive 1 as omega root 3 iota by 2 and negative 1 as omega square 1 by 2 minus root 3 iota by 2 then this this cancel and minus half minus half is minus 1 and it will be 0. So clearly the sum of q roots of unity is 0 and the next one is product of q roots of unity is 1. Product of q roots of unity q roots of unity is 1 that is 1 into omega into omega square and that will be equal to 1. That is omega q is equal to 1. You can check it. If you multiply this then 1 into uh, minus half whole square minus root 3 iota by 2 whole square a plus b a minus b. In that case this will be 1 by 4 minus 3 iota square by 4 minus iota square is also minus 1 so that will be 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4 which is 1. So product of q roots of unity is 1. I hope uh, this three property if you remember and uh, you can solve some questions if they will ask it is fully challenges. So these three property are very important and as per the requirement of the class 11th this topic is completed now and i hope you have enjoyed this and uh, for competitive examination uh, like j uh, main and advanced lot of things to go in complex number and there will be separate class for this but for school examination and requirement of the school education this is what in the syllabus and i have completed all these things uh, here so that's all for in complex number and quality equation. Hopefully you have enjoyed it and uh, thank you. Thank you very much.